Um, I was curious about the timeline of when you filmed this, because I know you had your own sort of coming out moment last year. And mm -hmm. did you film this before doing that? Yeah, and did yeah it, I did actually. Did one thing have I an impact actually. on the other? For sure. I, I filmed it like we filmed it, I think it was in 2017. Oh, so long ago. Yeah. yeah. And um, yes. And at the time, you know, because I was gay, you know, I mean, I not was gay, I've always been gay. <laughs> um, <laughs> and in Australia, not only was it not really a big deal, well, it seemed that way to me anyway, because I had such great um, acting teachers at university, you know, who um, saw me as this little repressed thing coming out of Zimbabwe, very fresh out of Zimbabwe, only two years of high school in Australia. So they just like, you know, were like, you need to, to, to be yourself. And all these emotional exercises and all these amazing sort of big support system, I suppose. Um, and it was never a thing. And also, I don't think I could play a straight person very convincingly, to be honest, when I first graduated acting school. Um, so <laughs> it wasn't really, uh, you know, and then when I came to the States, though, there was definitely a thing of certain acting teachers and managers just trying to protect you and saying, you know, what are you going to say about the gay thing? Um, you know, publicists just trying to help, being like, what should we say? Or do you want to say anything? Or, um, and you kind of think like, I don't know, do I? You know, um, should I? Uh, <laughs> probably not then, um, because I really want like, you know, I want to get, I want to have the best chance. I mean, it's hard enough as it is to make it back in Hollywood, let alone, you know, you, you don't want other things weighing you down, you know, when you're in, when you're in it, of course, now looking back on it, I don't know if it was a good choice or not. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, but at the same time, you, you as an actor, you really want to be able to be mysterious. You want people to believe you. Um, you don't want your personal life out there. I mean, if you really, you know, want to work in, in, in serious, beautiful, wonderful projects. But the thing is like, here's also the other thing, like all these beautiful, serious, wonderful projects that we all have admired. And I know I just, maybe I'm talking about me and, you know, in my circles of actors who, who just really want to do really good work. That's what we have aimed for all the time. But like, you know, and, and one of the, one of our main aims was to be in, you know, a Weinstein film, like something that Weinstein, always picked up all the good ones i mean they had all the good taste they had all they you know it was good art and look now you know we're just like okay well that was really fucked up um <laughs> and you know obviously on, on this you know so and so complex as well um and so hopefully we'll look back at this time and also say you know that was really fucked up that i had to do that but it's just it's a thing that people you know have in their minds when you look like a leading man I think um in in certain traditional terms because we all look up to people like Brad Pitt or people who've already made it you know people who've already paved the way you go oh, what you know where could my where could I fit in um and then I think hopefully somewhere down the right line, you realize that, you know, the only place you could really truly succeed and fit in is by, by being your authentic self, because that leads into your work, because you need truth in your work. Brad Pitt happens to be a really awesome, straight, um, you know, masculine leading man person in his real life. And that's great. And that's why it works so beautifully well as well on screen. Mm -hmm. um you know i would love to be that but that's not me um you know i'm i i have different i have a different set of things and i have a different way of playing a leading man um and have done you know convincingly in my own way but i've realized that you really have to put your own your own stamp on it because that's when the truth the truth flows out and that's when it's mostly mostly believable and funnily enough having by admitting that i am gay by 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 embracing all of that i've somehow become more masculine and more powerful in those roles because i just don't give a shit and it really comes across um and it's 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 basically what it is is just owning your own power and your sexuality is caught up in your in your power 
no matter what that sexuality is, because we're all on the same scale. Have you found that you're, you know, since you posted the Instagram, did you find uh, your audience has been receptive? And because it's an interesting audience. Yeah, absolutely. The, the, the young absolutely. audience that you have. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like um, people were just really, really supportive and lovely about it. You know, I didn't really expect it to have such a huge impact to be honest like um I kind of did uh, you know I was going through some life coaching I was also this film was coming out at this at a similar time which is really interesting to talk about because while we were doing this I'm pretty sure that was the exact same time um as as I came out on Instagram and it was a combination of things um but it was kind of just this, one of those things that I sort of recorded and thought, you know what, I'm feeling really powerful and risky. And this is an area that I was feeling stuck in the mud and I didn't know why or where, but I was willing to just kind of like throw things off the boat. I'm not sure Thomas just loves that. <laughs> yeah, well, she's, she wasn't on payroll. She hasn't been on payroll forever, so. <laughs> it was me, me on my own. Um, <laughs> And so I woke up the next morning because I was like, I oh, just forget about it. I'm like, I don't even look, you know, because um, it's, you know, it's about me being, you know, you know, not no outside things. And I actually did, I ended up forgetting about it. And then the next morning I just get a text from my little sister saying, making headlines, dot, dot, dot. And <laughs> I started getting text messages from everyone and it was all over, you know, yeah, from, you know, in New York, I don't know, whatever the fuck. <laughs> yeah. Coast, was, for sure. Anderson Cooper was saying my name and I was like, wow, um, <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. I was like, that was pretty spectacular considering the fact that I came out when I was 19 yeah. and then I had this like ticket tape parade, you know, <laughs> when I did it again. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't a friends. big secret to people in your life. A lot of my <laughs> friends in New York on a text chain, someone texts like, <laughs> he, said, he, he just text shook. <laughs> and it's very funny because you know but um yeah it, it, it to answer your question um it was around the same time as as you know to my mom was coming out and we we're having question and answers with academy members um after the film and obviously having gone th I, I had to sometimes make myself sit through the film yeah. to get the courage to then say something afterwards in the Q and A, which was just basically the truth of like, um, well, for me being gay, coming to here, and I think it's a bit toxic, you know, even though I know people really mean well, um, when they say, what are you gonna say about the gay thing? You know, it was just obviously when I came here 10 years ago, a different time, and I hope that things are changing. And here I am, this is me, um, give me a leading role. <laughs> yeah.